for the captivating Coco. Hey, it's Terry Hart, and in today's Entertainment City, we're taking a look at the 19th film from Pixar that's giving us some major life lessons, courtesy of the dead. Welcome to the land of your ancestors. <laughs> Miguel? We're your family. You're skeletons. You're alive. It starts off as a simple fable, in a way. And then it just starts to get so deep. And in doing so, Coco goes from a simple fable to an endearing and important one about following your dreams and the importance of keeping the memory of our loved ones alive. The plot comes from Mexico's Dia de los Muertos celebration, the annual Day of the Dead, when departed relatives are honored. Gael Garcia Bernal plays one of those departed relatives, Hector. Hector is incredible. No, skeletons don't walk like that. It's how you walk. No, I don't. I love what they've done with the skeletons of being able to make them modular and his arms come off. Knowing what he was going to be capable of visually, what did that mean when you were doing the voice? Did you imagine him visually? Yes. You just try out things. You experiment. Of course, the main character in the movie is alive. Miguel, a young boy who wants to be a musician, except in his family, all forms of music are banned thanks to an ancestor who abandoned the family to pursue his own dreams of music. During the annual Day of the Dead, Miguel inadvertently finds himself trapped in the land of the dead. You know about me? <laughs> you all anyone has been talking about. Miguel is voiced by 13-year-old Anthony Gonzalez. Miguel, uh, <laughs> see, this is what you're going to get for your yes, entire yeah, life the rest now. Of your life. Miguel, is that okay with yes, you? Yes, yeah. <laughs> Tell me about playing him. I look up to him since he... He's very determined and perseverant, and he doesn't let no one tell him what to do. Sometimes we go to movies just to escape, and other times you take something away from a movie that you want to put into your own life. And I feel like Coco is a movie that people are going to walk away from wanting to change something, even if just a little bit. I'm so happy to hear you say that. I, I, I talked to a few people who had no idea about Dia de Muertos. It's a tradition that I want to start using because we forget to remember the people that actually paved the path for us. Nothing's more important than family. Coco is in theaters today. And coming up tomorrow, we're chatting with the stars of The Breadwinner, the new animated film executive produced by Angelina Jolie. Hey.